What up, Melvin7 here. Sorry there was no video yesterday, but Foot Champions, literally, I had to grind it because I didn't really play any of Saturday, and then EA decided to give us an extra day anyway, so I didn't need to grind it. But anyhow, we're back with another squad builder challenge. It is for Legend Mark Over Mars. Now, I would recommend you wait because 30 days remaining, you do get Over Mars and a Prime uh, Players Pack. It's a bit like the Del Piero one. I think they'll be doing them for all of the new Legends. You get them for 20 games. And uh, yeah, just wait until this comes to an end. The Del Piero one, Calcio B players, by the end of it, we're going for absolutely nothing. Right now, these players, particularly this one, is the most expensive. The Go Ahead Eagle players and the Willem 2 players, sorry if I'm uh, mispronouncing that, are going for stupid amounts, which I'll be able to show you here. Um, like, look, they're, they're literally getting price fixed again at about 8 to 9k so no matter what players i've got here it is not going to matter i just recommend that unless you want to waste your coins and you're absolutely desperate for that legend over mars just wait you've got 30 days to do it i'm doing it purely for youtube purposes same as this this player right here will be having the same problem i'm going to list them purely because i'll make some coins i'm never going to use them i've already got the other players in the squad anyway but there you go they're, they're getting price fixed for about 7k so, you know what, I'm just going to list mine for 7,000, see if he sells instantly, and I'll list the other one, and then uh, I'll show you the actual team that I've got. You also need five Ajax players, and they are getting price fixed as well. Uh, not as heavily, though, because there are more widely available. I'll just quickly show you here. And you do need 100 chem as well. Oh, my God. Okay, they're getting price fixed for a bit more than I thought. Jesus Christ, they're like 5k. I got in here quick, so I was lucky. I managed to get this gold guy for 1,000, and I had every other player in my club. So it effectively hasn't cost me anything. The fact I've managed to buy him now for 1,000, and now he's getting price fixed for 5k, it's ludicrous. With the prices, the, the amount that they are now, for this one alone, you're looking to spend about 50,000 coins for a lone legend and that's just one of them this is just one of the teams it's absolutely ridiculous so uh, I'll, I'll show you the team that I've got as I say so we've got five Ajax players but um yeah these I'm just gonna scroll through just so you can see if for whatever reason you want to copy but all of the players are getting price fixed for the same price depending on the team 7,000 or 5,000 so yeah and then I think the only two players that aren't from Ajax or the other two clubs is this guy who I mean I presume he's going to be going for like 200 coins because he's not really so after yeah there you go 200 coins for him and uh, same with this right wing I, I dare say 200 300 yeah like pretty pretty cheap but the rest of it is extortionally expensive but we're just going to submit that as you'll be able to see as well because they're all in my club I've managed to like get a right back and left back and a CDM and centre back and still get a hundred chemistry which is kind of lucky for me so we're gonna submit that we get a 15k pack so just wait just honestly wait there is no point doing this because it, like this specific one this one might be a bit better because you only need three Arsenal players and then the rest of them are just uh, Premier League players so uh, yeah I've got a Wobi here even Arsenal players might actually be getting price fixed because he was like 500 coins the other day and it looks as though he's about 2,000 yeah about 2,000 so it's probably a good idea to wait for this you can see I bought him for 450 and that was like two three weeks ago how much is uh, Chamberlain going for he's untradeable I can't check and I think the same with our spinner so it looks as though Arsenal players are getting slightly price fixed but not as much so uh, this one though however might be an idea to kind of overplay slightly because you get a prime gold players pack which is a 45k pack and considering the rest of it is just low rated Premier League golds that are going to go for discard it might be worth paying that extra couple of thousand here or there and you can see a couple of the players that I listed have sold for 7k so um yeah like Gibson 1000 like you know it's usual usual non rares that are going to be cheap to do this I'll just check one more because there's no point checking every single one there you go like Wes Morgan a thousand coins so it's pretty easy you need six nationalities so just make sure you do that and uh, yeah I'm just gonna submit that there's my prime gold players pack done and then we move on to La Liga Santander which I reckon would be quite cheap as well and you get a 25k pack for this uh, you only need three Barcelona players and yeah, Rafina, there you can see is a thousand. Sorry if you can hear the sirens in the background. I am right next to a hospital, uh, the house that I live in. But anyway, um, yeah, it looks as though the Barca players aren't really getting price fixed for too much. 
uh, okay, maybe maybe Suarez, the uh, the left mid Suarez that is, is about two k. Surely someone's listed one for cheaper. Like you might, it might be a good idea to go after the rare Barcelona players. Like how much is Matteo? Like, I'm using him as well. Uh, well, he didn't have a bid on one thousand two. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Like you'll be looking. For about 4k for three Barcelona players and the rest of them can be La Liga and uh, the only uh, constraint that might cause you a little bit of issues in this is uh, the five nations you need to have a minimum of five but that should be fairly easy uh, sorry you can you can only have a maximum of five players from the same nation so for example Spanish I've got four you can't have more than five is what I was going for and Although people who comment this never listen to the videos, they just pause it just to get the teams, which is fair enough, but uh, yeah, loyalty, you will need loyalty. If you haven't pack pulled these, go and search FIFA 17, no loss glitch, to find an easy way to do 10 games in 20 minutes, and I say that so often, it sickens me, pretty sure it sickens the people who actually, you know, already know that, but uh, yeah. I say it every single video because without fail, I'll get a comment asking why have I got 99 chemistry and you've got 100. Well, there's your answer. But anyway, we're going to submit that 25k pack and we move on to the final one, which is Netherlands, which isn't as expensive as the other one purely because you don't have to go to the Eredivisie. I've got a few Eredivisie players there, but you know, the only one I've bought is Van Persie and I rushed to buy him 1,300. There's way cheaper, like that was 20 minutes. But I uh, couldn't be asked to go on the market for like three, four hundred coins. So yeah, you should be able to get him for under a thousand. Same as the rest of this team. Like just, just go after players that are quite high rated that aren't in the Eredivisie. I mean, look at Schneider for example. Easily a thousand, and he's eighty-three rated. So that's seventy-seven team rating. If you can get someone like Schneider, like De Vries, who's cheap as well. Uh, oh, I thought he was untradeable. So I will actually be able to show you how cheap he is. Um, there you go, about 1,000, 1,200. If you can get a couple of those, you can just fill the rest with low-rated Netherlands silver players that are going for discard. I showed you, even in the uh, the expensive squad challenge, I had a silver player that was selling for 200, 300 coins in the Eredivisie. So it's very, very simple, this one. This one's probably the easiest and maybe the cheapest if you use a lot of silvers. And then players like Schneider, De Vries, maybe Van Persie as well because he's quite cheap. And then uh, this centre back who's 80 rated, then just fill the rest of it with, uh, well, Bruma, as I say, 80 rated, and the rest of it with just silvers, and you'll get that rating no problem. So, anyway, we're going to submit that for another premium gold players pack. So, I think you get a 15k pack, two 25k packs, two 45k packs, and then, of course, you get Mark Overmars for 20 loan games. Now, I've actually used the proper Overmars, and I thought he was quite good. Um, it would be nice to use him again because I did use him for foot champions for 40 games He was great for 20 shit for 20. So, you know, I've got a 20 match loan there So hopefully I can uh, you know have him for a good 20 games But anyway, we'll open the rewards now that you know by the end of it You've got 30 days as I keep saying by the end of it That is going to be so worth it because of the packs that you get They're big packs the worst pack you get is a 15k pack So we'll see what we get in that it uh, doesn't look as though it's going to be anything. Ugh. I was thinking Coleman, but he's a left mid, isn't he? We get Biabiani in the first pack. But of course, any Eredivisie players, particularly from the uh, the three clubs, Ajax, Willem II, and whatever the other team was. I can't remember, but yeah, if you get any of those, you'll look out. There's a few other players that are going for a bit, like uh, right mid Brazilians. For example, um, non rares are selling for a lot. That's a big flare, two big flares. Center back, that's Miranda, 86 raid. I will take that. Who's the other big flare though? I saw two. Who is it? It is Baka. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. We get Gignac as the other rare as well. So, very high rated cards there, to be fair. 82, 86, and 84. So, we'll send all that to the transfer list and we still got three more packs so uh let's see if we can continue this this is another 25k pack that's not a good flare though center mid all right jack will show you might go for a little bit if there's premier league uh squads that you know for squad builder challenges eventually he will go up we also get that uh silver um psg striker i think but anyway right the two prime packs i haven't had good luck with these yet so hopefully now is the time 
that didn't really lag. That's a really small flare, that's gonna be shit. Who is it? Oh, it's Julio Caesar. Could be someone like Martial or Renato Sanchez in the pack. Probably not, but I can hope. And there is not. Um, this guy might go for a bit though. Brazilian Sydney player. I know Sydney doesn't really sell for anything anymore, but okay, maybe not. I was thinking because of the Brazilian uh, uh, starting 11, squad builder challenge, I think. All right, yeah, they're, they're going for nothing. I'll sort that out my own time, but there's a Kaiser Chiefs player there as well. He might go for a bit because of the other ones. Although marquee matchups might not actually be there anymore. But anyway, last pack. Let's see what we get. That didn't lag in the way that it would if it was a walkout. So unfortunately, no walkout for us. We get Gomez. So the best one was Miranda, which isn't bad. Not going to lie. Uh, we also get Fellini, who was a... It was a screamer card not too long ago, so uh, that's a bit disappointing. But anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah, peace.